Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in Unit 5, Lesson 11, Part 3. It says the program traverses the fruits list to print out all the different fruits. Add code to traverse and print out the vegetables list. Let's go ahead and run the code just to see what we have. And as I do, we can see that it prints out here are the fruits I like to eat, and then it goes through and prints out the fruits in this list above. And then it goes ahead and prints the here's the vegetables I like to eat and nothing else prints. So we need to add the code so that it prints through this list. But before we do, let's go ahead and look at what we have here. At the top, we have a created list for us called fruits. Here below, we have a variable created for fruits. And ultimately, what we're going to do is use that to store fruits at specific locations so that we can print that to the console log. With that variable created, we have the for loop. We have I set at zero. We have the for loop looking to see is the variable less than the length of this list. If it is, it's going to run the commands in here, and then it's going to add one to the variable count. Within here, it's going to put the fruit at the specific variable, starting with index zero, which was apples. And then it's going to print that out line by line until it gets to the end of the list. So we're going to use that as our base for what we're doing. It's going to be almost identical. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new variable, and we're going to call it vegetable. After we create that variable, let's go ahead and go to the controls toolbox, and we're going to create a for loop. We'll leave the i variable listed as i, and what we're going to do is check to see is i less than vegetables.length. So it'll run through this entire list, and as soon as it gets to the end, it will drop out. We use the vegetables.length here instead of just using a number because it's best practice. And it's best practice because should we add or remove from this list, using this instead of a number will automatically adjust instead of having to go in and edit that code. Within this for loop, we need to go ahead and set text for the variable vegetable. So let's go back to our variables. We're going to bring this one in, assign a variable. And our vegetable is going to be equal to vegetables, we'll do open bracket, we'll do the i, the i will be replaced with the specific index, and then what we want to do is console log that. In the console log, we're just going to go ahead and put in vegetable, and let's reset this and see if it works. And we can see it print off every single one of those vegetables in the console log. When you're done, go ahead and click finish.